Well, I'm out here saying goodbye to my car. <laughs> they jacked my stuff up, man. The sad part is they ain't steal nothing out of the car. Like, all the stuff that was in my trunk is still in my trunk. Even the change inside the little little change cup thing. They didn't even take that. I'm hoping I don't have any ne negative equity on the car loan. Because <laughs> I think I still got gap insurance. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. But, um... Yeah. They definitely use a USB charger. I mean USB charge cable. On my car. Like it like they say on the internet. Uh because they left it in the car. You know, has a big uh, you know, F U to me. So uh that's great. Good times, good times. Because they have to pay the loan off, of course. But well, they're not going to pay it off. They're going to pay what the car is worth. And every time you have a loan, it's always going to be under how much the car is actually worth. I mean, it's going to be always over how much the car is actually worth. So if you have a loan of, uh, let's say your loan is 20000 the car is only the car is only going to be worth like seventeen or 16000 That's why you have gap insurance. Another freaking insurance piece of crap situation um i'm never ever going to agree with insurance because it's all crap you know what i'm saying it's all the game money it's not actually to help people so if you sell insurance uh you made a better career choice than most <laughs> you know because if it's about money yeah <laughs> Sorry, that was a little passive aggressive because I'm angry as hell. I had four brand new tires on this car. Uh, brace got done, just, just got done not too long ago. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty pissed. I am pretty damn pissed. You know, they just didn't care. They just didn't care. Thieves are some of the worst possible people in the world because you can work so hard for something and it take you forever to get and they just walk up and just take it and have not a care in the world the thought behind that it leaves me very very angry I don't want to say something that I probably regret later so I'm not going to say it uh, I do have thoughts though so I am pissed off because if I do have negative equity on the car, which I believe I do, according to their paperwork, um, I I got to fit that bill. <laughs> and I already have enough financial issues. I did not need that one. Now it's going to be harder for me to go see my kids. It's, it's going to be harder for me to get back and forth to work. Yeah. So, I mean, sorry if I'm not completely in the camera. I'm going through my car right now and just got a trash bag and getting everything out of it. You know, I'll have a rental until about the 2nd of the month, September 2nd. Uh, and then after that, I don't know what I'm going to do. So, I don't have extra money, you know. I don't think anybody who's middle class does have quote unquote extra money. Um, yeah. So between surgery, going through issues with my kids and you know. You know what I'm saying? This crap. It's just more BS. More BS. Like I, like I wrote in a post. Sorry about that. Like I wrote in a post not too long ago. Uh, 
once you guys see me start winning don't hate because I probably deserve it um, I meant that because my last three years has been yeah and the thing is, is it's like I learned not to leave the house without your patience and your sense of humor which is probably why you know what I'm saying I'm trying to hold on to that little mantra you know I know a lot of people are going to say well you have the right to be mad you have the right to be upset you might you got the right to you know kick the hell out of things and be pissed off and all that good stuff you have a right you have a right you have a right um I know you know what I'm saying but there's part of me that Yeah, there's a part of me that uh, I just believe is that uh, I just want to stay true to myself. Like I'm not that crazy type person. Uh, even though, for the most part, in the last few years, I've been handled handed a bad a bad rap. So uh, yeah, I just wanted to you know, misery loves company and all that good stuff. Share my frustrations a little bit. Hopefully, you know what I'm saying, talking about it, you know, you, it doesn't normally make a person feel better. I think it's kind of a load of bull, but, uh, you know, it helps to get it out. Yeah. So yeah, I'll just leave it right here at that. Um, I don't know. I don't know. You guys ever catch me online anywhere? You know, I guess say hi, come by. All that good stuff. All right, uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna just go.